Welcome back to Messy Monday. You already know what's going on. You can't sit with me if you ain't P.O.P. And that's pretty on purpose. How you doing? Okay, let's talk about these folks. Man, champ. If it ain't about me. Hey creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. and that's pretty on purpose. How you doing? Okay, so first off, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for supporting me for two years of Messy Monday on YouTube. That's freaking amazing. And the numbers and the views are still climbing and y'all are still here supporting. It started off on you now a long time ago, like maybe three years ago. And then I brought it over here to YouTube and I do not regret that decision. I just am so happy. And now I'm reaching to get it onto like a platform like TV or something. So if you guys just keep supporting, stay here, stay grinding with me. I would greatly appreciate it. And congratulations on our two year mark anniversary. Amazing. Da -da 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 Right. So before we start Missing Monday, I want to give a shout out to Current. Thank you for sponsoring this YouTube video. Okay, so check this out. Current is a mobile banking app that comes with the Visa debit card. It has no overdrafts, no minimum balance, and no hidden fees. And try to save the black premium card. You get your check two days faster when you set up the direct deposit. And what I heard was you can even switch your direct deposit over on the app. Bip. I know you lying. So current is a true direct deposit, no prepaid card. So you can connect it to Cash App, Venmo, and even get cash back at the register child. You y'all, we all know we like a little cash back. You don't even stop there. You can deposit your check using the app camera. Oh. So me. And the premium has perks like instant funds. So like when you go to the gas pump and they hold like $2 or $5, something like that. Girl, you ain't gotta worry about it. It's also a smart app with spending notifications and personalized saving pods to help you save. And girl, it works with Apple and the Google Wallet. So, Android, Apple people, y'all good. We're on the street. It is better than them all prepaid banking cards. And it takes two minutes to sign up. And then that's what, F-R-E-E, -E, your current card will be sent to you for free. But if you don't believe me, check out some of these testimonials and listen to what they gotta say. Love current because I get paid Tuesdays earlier and it makes my life so much easier. I get paid early. That's the best. This makes my life better. Gosh darn, I get paid two days before everybody else. Current is where it's at. And they do actually have a savings pod in the app. A savings pod where you can put money in. A little bit of money for, you know, vacation, a rainy day, groceries. Current design is amazing. Being able to have a nice looking card and everything. So that's something to brag about. Current is great. Easiest banking I've ever done. I love current. I can always depend on current. So as y'all heard, there you go. You didn't hear from me. You heard it from those people who use it. So click the link in the top of my description and download the app now. Don't wait. Go on and get you your current. What price it? Okay, y'all. <laughs> Enough of all of that. Let's get into some shit. And that's the sugar honey iced tea. Ooh, girl, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. This ain't really no mess. This ain't really no shit. But this is just something we want to talk about. This that uh YKO, what's his name? Cyrus, a Siri, whatever. And Kayla, they coming out with a new song. <laughs> Okay. I'm actually interested in hearing it. I want y'all to discuss in the comments. What do y'all think about the song? Do you like it? You ready for it? You gonna pass on it? You, gonna, you know, you gonna get the fuck ASAP? What's the tea? Oh, and also, shout out to Jarrell Jerome for winning the Emmy. But most importantly, this is for the men that we know as the Exonerated Five. We got so much positive stuff coming on. Let me get a little messy. Now, six times. He's in jail and been there for a while. And come to find out, y'all, he's just ratting on everybody. Just rat, rat, ratting just on everybody. I don't, this boy said he is not trying to sit in jail no more. He said they done, they done tortured his little booty hole. His mouth is sore. He got locked up. He's trying to get up out of there. He's going to tell on everybody. Snoop Dogg done said some stuff. Everybody just speaking on it. I'm just like, child, get that poor baby up out of there because he is finna go crazy. And when he get out, I hope they got him some protective services because, baby, it's going to be over for her. But to do with me. So anyway, we gonna see how that turns out. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Diamond Flawless and her daddy. Now, I guess her daddy must have saw Messy Monday and he said, you know what? <laughs> that little sugar foot ain't gonna talk about me. Try, he done took his happy ass over to that boy Nate's house. What the f Who the f is that? Don't tell me that's Diamond Flawless, man. I said, okay, money clip. <laughs> you better go out there and turn up and turn out, so. I don't know, money clip me go out there and fight the children, honey. <laughs> that ain't nothing about me. Oh, you gonna fight the children! <laughs> Somebody come get your daddy, sit him down. You need to get one of your nephews to fight him, not you, daddy. Oh, God. Anyway, that's what's going on with your honey. If it ain't about me, let's eat, keep this game. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Queen Key and 600 Breezy. Now, 600 Breezy is fine as hell. 
queen, girl, you could have sat that right on up. But anyway, I don't know what really brought this about, but I think something happened where he told her to have an abortion and she didn't take that too lightly. She got upset about what he's saying. And um, so she decided to take it upon herself to be like, okay, so you really wanna keep my name in your mouth? Keep this dick in your mouth. And girl, she posted a video of them when he was eating her pussy. Now, she said, you must have still thought you was in jail because you was sucking him like it was a whole penis. I said, girl, I knew something a little strange about that situation. I didn't know he was in jail. But I knew, I said, look how he's sucking on that. That ain't, bitch, he's supposed to put on the man and go like this or something. Girl, he was all like, he was just on the knees and everything. Like, he was just, you know. I said, oh my God, that's how you look. <laughs> Nobody, maybe he's just a freak freak here. I don't know. So, anyway, he saw the video, he was mad at her. He told her, Watch your post that. All I said was get an abortion. She said, Keep it in my mouth. Then her mama also DM her and told her, Girl, take that down. That's wrong. She clapped back at her mama. She said, Mama, first of all, <laughs> stay in your place. I said, Ooh, bitch. That. Case closed. <laughs> mama, be there. It's like, Girl, that's your mama, girl. How, how you look? Fuss with your mama over a man that was disrespecting you. But anyway, if it ain't about me, when he was in jail, he slept to be. Next case. Next for the sugar honey ice tea, we have a this guy in trouble. In trouble, y'all know he a whole hood nigga out here in Atlanta, so I gotta keep it cute because I ain't trying to walk these streets and get my ass beat up by none of them hood niggas. And I be going to the club, they be going to too. But anyway, um, him and Lessie Sky, they supposed to be kicking it, whatever the case may be. And she got upset. And on one of her posts, she had put single, but she quickly changed it. And somebody caught it. So what she was mad about is because he's been out doing stuff. And he could be on social media, but he has not reached out or talked to her or texted her in two days. That's 48 hours. This man is out here in 48 hours. Girl, you need to get the fuck ASAP. But that ain't none of my business. So she was mad. She changed the caption. And everybody said, oh, you changed the caption, girl. We caught that. So then he very much wanted to say she just thriving for attention, what they always do. And she said, no, I'm not looking for attention. It's you. I don't blame her. When you are fed up, you are fed up. You know? And she just fed up. But girl, he just taking her for advantage. And she ready to get the fuck ASAP. So a day later, he decides to post this the other day when he said, it's funny. He said, it's funny, though, we live in an era where in Instagram finds out that you're single before you do. Well, baby, well, if you would have called her, <laughs> You would've known, but you ain't got over 48 hours. So you don't know what the fuck going on. So that ain't nobody but your own fault. Uh, y'all gotta stop running social media with y'all problems. Like when y'all have a problem, talk to each other. They don't pick up. Oh well, fuck it. Forget about me. Let's kick it. Let's go. Alright, so that's all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of the duck, we have Cupcake versus Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello. Y'all know Cupcake just came out with a new song, and every time she come out with a song, she does some type of antic to try to make people go listen to it. So this time, her strategy was to say she had sex with Shawn Mendes. Now I said, wait a minute, bitch. <laughs> wait a minute, Shawn Mendes, let you hit? Oh girl, I got all the opportunity in the world. You got to get the pain, bitch, I can get the pain. So she took the Twitter and she started going on this crazy rant. She started snapping at Camilla. She said, that's why I had sex with your man. You were racist. He gay, his dick small. I said, oh my God, <laughs> what the f is going on? And it was just a whole lot of whole lot of. And I was like, okay, this is really getting juicy. I'm waiting for Camilla and Sean to say something. They never said nothing. With no reply, her son didn't do numbers. Nobody would go download it. <laughs> Nobody would go download it on nothing, girl. Today, well, late last night, she decided to go live and she said this. I feel like so. I'm corrupting them with my songs. Because every time she come out with a song or a video or something, she does something crazy as far as like, last time she took to the internet talking about she's gonna kill herself, she went to the hospital. Then this time with her music, she did it again. Um, it's all, or she attacked somebody. It's always something. Now I love her music, I think she's amazing, but it's, you can't keep doing this all the time when you're dropping a song or when you want some attention about something because then people aren't gonna take a serious situation serious when it's really time for them to take you serious, okay? Hopefully she get it together, girl, because she need to do something with herself, girl. She just really just falling by the wayside. But if it ain't about me, girl, send me that picture of Shawn Mendes is the next day. Next to the docket, we have Armani and Eddie versus Amari. Now, honey, this is a whole lot, a whole lot of a cut. I could have sworn he was with Amari and then all of a sudden you break up with her and now you got this new girl and she pregnant. This is just a mess because, girl, a lot of people feel, and I kind of feel, they said that he had to have been cheating on Amari because right when you and her broke up, all of a sudden you knelt with this new girl and then you just so comfortable enough to get her pregnant that fast because I heard, now this is what I heard, I don't know, he got with this girl 
they have been kicking it or whatever, but they stopped talking and they got back together with a YouTube video. And then now, in the midst of this new YouTube video, now you're saying that she's 10 weeks pregnant. Some people feel it ain't his baby because how are you already 10 weeks pregnant and y'all just got that together? Come, that means you had to have been cheating hard to get this girl pregnant because how is this your baby in 10 weeks? That means the first day of y'all getting back together. Y'all must have had unprotected sex to get this girl pregnant like that. That's what the girls is saying. I don't know. How you gonna boo boo bam and then she's thank you man pregnant? I don't know. I don't know if it's his. He better get a paternity test or something because girl, this is a whole lot of Y'all really, y'all girls be active in the streets. So Amari was caught liking comments, talking about the relationship ain't gonna last. He had to have cheated on her and all this other stuff. Then she also posted on her Instagram story that, you know, she has a life to live. She ain't really worried about all that. And she said what she said. I'm just like, girl, okay. And the people in the comments calling her a bit of it. And I'm just like, she ain't bitter, girl. She just spilling her tea. Cause like, if you got cheated on by your man, because now all of a sudden y'all broke up and he with this new girl and she pregnant, they had to have been kicking it. Girl, this a whole lot, a whole lot. But whatever the case may be, whoever baby it is, <laughs> Y'all just take care of it because that baby had nothing to do with this mess y'all done got y'all stuff into. Y'all done got y'all stuff into some mess. But anyway, if it ain't about me, shouts out to the new YouTube baby. Next case. Next to the duck at, we have Diamond versus C. Now, child, I'm about tired of these two because I don't even know if this shit real no more. Like, I'm just, at this point, it's as YouTube terms, okay? <laughs> I'm just, all right, loving YouTube, okay? Like, what is going on? So, she showed how he was abusive. She showed how he put the marks on her neck. She said he had her location on. He showed up at the hair salon and she didn't know he was coming. She was scared. Girl, okay, you know what? At this point, girl, my ex still got my location on. Girl, like, this is what you do, girl. You, you see your baby your location. Y'all act like y'all just don't ever send locations. Girl, if you was that scared, you would've turned your location off, period. You knew it was on. You knew you sent it to him. I don't know. At this point, I just feel like she's just over it because she got caught cheating and she don't want people to get mad at her. I'm not saying she's faking. I just need all the proof. I'm not saying he right. It's just now when she said they broke up on the 14th, he comes back with the proof that they were still kicking it. He showed the text messages. He showed her talking to him, talking about Bay and this, and she brought him a gift, the shoes. Then all of a sudden, his her dad is the one taking the pictures on his birthday. I think it was in Puerto Rico or somewhere, honey. So how if y'all broke up and you were scared of him and he was abusing you and all this other stuff, y'all broke up on the 14th, how are you with him on his birthday on the 26th? I just don't understand it. Stop. Babe, babe, stop. Oh my stop playing with me. Gosh. Yo, stop playing with me, bro. Oh. The lies on top of lies on top of lies on top of lies. Then she showed the picture of the restraining order or something like that. The courts or something, honey. And then he just over to, he like, don't talk to me. Cops trying to talk to me. Tell him to talk to my lawyer. Why, why the cops coming to my, I ain't talking to no police, bitch. I ain't talking to no police. You gonna talk to my lawyers, bitch. I ain't worried about that shit. Nothing. Like, what is going on? At this point, screw all of it because I am fed up. Everybody just want to throw everything on YouTube and don't have their stuff together. Get it together. Get, uh, at least write it out so y'all know that your timelines match or something. You know, at this point, fuck all of it. Fuck it. I'm just over it. Girl, fuck. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. So, I decided to bring in Janae, and we're gonna get to some of the questions that y'all asked me so we can get to the bottom of all of this juicy tea. Come on, Miss Janae, tell me what's going on, friend. Hey! hey. <laughs> okay, so are you nervous, friend? I'm extremely nervous. <laughs> extremely nervous. I changed my dress like three times. They wanna know is Eric and Trey really a couple? Because they said you do so much scamming, girl, they don't know if. You gonna start off like that? We you start off with that. <laughs> Because I'm her mom, mm -hmm. and I'm not her manager anymore because I got fired. She did the usher on me. She fired? <laughs> 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 oh, okay. So you said messy. Go ahead. Right, right, so, but I'm cut off, so I don't really know. So why does she, why like. did she fire you then? Because of the fact it's better for me to just be the grandma and the mom because of the fact it, it cuts down on all the confusion and stuff. You know? Wait, you said the grandma and the mom? Yeah, I'm a mom, and then I got the grandbaby. Oh, so not her the baby. You, that was fake. You being mad. <laughs> <laughs> you just being mad. Cause I just started arguing. Listen, we are right. saying that was a social <laughs> thing. So here you go. Here you go. Okay, so okay. They feel like you made her look like the donkey the other day, the same way how you did the Chris and Queen oh. her baby. So they said, why would you do that to your own daughter to make her look like that, knowing it was fake? Okay, so first of all, the, let's, the Chris and Queen situation, everybody eventually found out that was real. It wasn't no, no setup type situation. Mm -hmm. That was real life, what happened to them. The thing with Ari and Trey or whatever, 
everybody knows that they views and stuff were going down. Mm-hmm. And so everybody kept talking about there was a fake couple, all this stuff. He had another girl. She had, it was just always all this messy stuff. Mm-hmm. If you look at all the channels or whatever, they all of them take some part of some type of drama mm-hmm. and they carry it on. Like you see the drama that's going on now. Like he beat me, he slapped me, she jumped on me. Mm-hmm. It's going to go for 10 series. Mm-hmm. But why is it when I do it? It's <laughs> right. right. And right. so it's like what you do is you take a real life situation and you basically tell the story. Now sometimes we didn't have to go back and tell the story after it happened. Mm-hmm. So the social experiment was like, okay, let's see what happens. The, the thing with Trey and Ari or whatever, it was something to bring life back to the channel. You couldn't think of anything else to do, friend, but that. You know what's funny is that, I mean, I'd have loved, I mean, I didn't think of it. Again. Why did you lock them in the contracts? And so oh, they, they start right there. They said they want to know. Or they said you lock them in the contracts. Why did you do that? And then give them their money. Did y'all even really go to court? Was that fake? Because they ain't seen nothing about no courts or nothing. Okay. All right. We're going to start off with lies, lies, lies. Because first of all, nobody locked them. Them kids, I don't want to say them fools, but nobody locked them out their channel. Mm-hmm. Um, if you watch the drama that's playing out now, you guys can see really how that was a setup. Mm-hmm. My old squad, Damien and Bianca, basically set me up mm-hmm. and tried to make it look like I was locking them out their channel, but Nikki King was conspiring together mm-hmm. because they wanted to go over to Damien and Bianca. Mm-hmm. So, if this gonna fly out the next couple of days, it's gonna be real messy. Okay. But it's gonna show that, no, I did lock them out the channel. Yes, we did have two-step verification, and everybody knew that when we sat down and signed the contracts. Mm-hmm. But everybody, it's easy to pay me 20% of 10000 mm-hmm. but it's a lot harder to pay me 20% of 40000 that you're making a month. Mm-hmm. So then all of a sudden, you ain't do nothing. You can't leave me with two hundred thousand, friend. Like I'm trying to right. understand. <laughs> I'm trying to right. understand. Uh-huh. And so everybody was pushing awesomeness and all this other stuff. Everybody got more whips since you've been with me. So what happened? They, Nikki King, came up with this great plan to go ahead and you know get the whole squad to leave because everybody knows how I am. Some of the stuff that's been said has been said out of context. Mm-hmm. If you rock with my squad, you rock with my squad. If you don't rock with my squad and you keeping up drama like certain people, mm-hmm. no, I'm going to tell my group, don't mess with you. Nikki King knew mm-hmm. I was going to tell Carmen and Corey, no, don't mess with them. So mm-hmm. they went to Corey mm-hmm. and Corey easily influenced. Corey going to be on live in five. Right, They <laughs> <laughs> you had up your Corey. <laughs> right, right, right. So um, they went to Corey and telling Corey, well, look, she said this, 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 that, and the other. Corey believed it, long story short. Corey was the power team. He was one of the top groups in this JQC thing. Okay. If you get the top groups to go, that's mm-hmm. your leverage. And so mm-hmm. Damien and his, his guy, Floyd, you took the two biggest people that I had, put them with Damien and mm-hmm. Damien's mm-hmm. numbers. Now you got a, a crazy team. So now you got people running to you on the side and all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. I didn't lock them out their channel. If you watch the videos, they said she could have locked me out my channel. Mm-hmm. So why was everybody running with that, friend? Because when you got a 2 million, 1.5 million channel, and I got 5,000 subscribers. They ain't trying to hear what you said. Everybody trying to hear what I said. <laughs> <laughs> so did y'all really go to court? Did you take him to court? Yeah, now this is the thing. Um, Corey and Carmen's court case was the first one that we went to, the first part of the court case that we went to. And when we went to court, ironically, I was going there all the like, I ain't about to mess with them, I'm grim them and everything. Mm-hmm. I saw the baby and, and you just punk. I'm such a punk. I was like, can I hold him? And mm-hmm. He let me hold the baby. We were sitting there we talking. He was like, I'm so sorry. He was like, you know, a lot of people got in my head. Uh-huh. He was like, you know, it was So why did he put this video out and say, hey, she dropped everything on us? We're good. Did he put a video out about that? He went live. He went live and said it. No, not live. That you did all that other stuff on YouTube. Let's do it. Let's Everybody can't see the live for it. Lord, please do a video. Yeah, please. we want a video tell of it you. all. Tell what happened. <laughs> you were so quick to go out there and say she did this. She lost about our contract. She t- she scammed us. She made people turn on me. You made all those videos. But you can't go to the video and say, hey, she took us to court and say, you know what? I can't even do y'all like this. Where's that video? We want that on the teen shape. We want that on this, my nigga. Why? You got to drag her down, but you can't build it up after you're all that. Thank you. That's what you're going to talk about these two girls who obviously say that you tried to get everybody to turn on them. Oh. Now, that's the Taylor girls. Yeah, yeah. Why did they sit here and say that you wanted everybody to turn on them and you so queen this and queen that and you want to kick them out the house? And what was this? About? Okay, it's some truth to that. It's some truth okay. to that. <laughs> <laughs> and anybody that watches Taylor Girls, mm-hmm. I, I have to say that Armand said one time joking, he was like, uh oh, here come the Ratchet ATL twins. Oh. So I say, <laughs> I, I thought that was the funniest thing ever, but one thing I always say, and everybody can say, I got text messages to prove it. I mm-hmm. say, yes, they Ratchet, but they smart. The Taylor Girls weren't supposed to be part of the group. The first house in Atlanta, Chris and them were cool with them. They brought them to the house. As the quote unquote director of what we was doing, mm-hmm. uh uh-uh, uh, you can't come in here just, you know, running stuff. Stuff. You had all the plans, right? Yes. So why did the daddy say he had the plans? What is it, Papa Smurf? Papa, 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 Papa Smurf, Taylor, something yeah. like this. I don't know where this this came from because <laughs> oh my god, like we weren't 
not cool, but we have taught. You came to me. Mm -hmm. and, and he said you came to him and he gave you the chance. I got text messages. Oh. Ooh. My friend. Frank. You can put them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got text messages. Okay, so now you said they come to the room and they run stuff. Now, go back to Okay, so now, um, at the time, the Tenders was real cool with Queen. Okay. And uh, almost like on some, well, Deja, I think, and uh, Queen was like real cool. So, you know, me, cool little girl, you told her her stuff. Mm -hmm. At the time, uh, Queen was opening up to Deja, telling her about the relationship with Chris and what was going on. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew yet mm -hmm. what was going on with Chris. So, I really believe that Deja felt like she was safe with me in the car coming from, because I had came down to Houston. She was in the car with me riding to my hotel. It was me, her, Jazz, AKA Perfect Lab. Mm -hmm. She was in the back seat of the car. Mm -hmm. Deja's just venting because we was cool. And Deja's just like, you know, like, that's messed up. How you doing, my sister? Da da da. And they got, them out, got her out here looking stupid. Da da da. Mm -hmm. She's just talking. Mm -hmm. And she's telling stuff that Queen has told her. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Jazz in the back seat. So we right. get to the house or whatever. And, um, I think something with Trey, Trey from Armani Trey, mm -hmm. they had something going and that kind of came up. So everybody was talking about him already. And so then it was like, oh yeah, she was talking in the car too. Jazz. Uh oh. Jazz. Was in a car talking about, she was talking to or uh, whatever. And then she was like, what is she today? And I'm looking at her like. Right, trying to drag Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, yeah. Because <laughs> you can't fly yeah. like, right. like, 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 And I, Armani Trey sitting there, Chris and Queen sitting there, everybody mm -hmm. sitting there. So I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. And then she was like, you know, she started off with like, yeah, she said something about you, bro. You know, talking about Chris, like, you mm -hmm. know, that you cheating again. I'm like, I finished the story because she was like, you know what else did she say? And I'm like, da 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 da. Mm -hmm. And so Chris mad. Chris mm -hmm. like, like, so you look at the queen, the queen, like, you know, he like, why is it telling everybody our business? Mm -hmm. And she was like, well, I didn't tell her everything. She was like, we were cool. So long story short, Chris get on one. I'm like, Chris, don't say that because it's going to create a whole bunch of junk. Chris mm -hmm. didn't hold it. He called right. Deja and he like, because they had been staying over there. They mm -hmm. really considered them close. So he felt like he got betrayed. So then he said something, they fall out. So then they tell Deja's last part of words to them was like, watch the neck, she a snake. But well, why are you a snake when she done went and told the TV? She done told we gonna take what Queen said. Exactly. But she that told you to fill in. Yes, and that, that's not the real reason. That's not the only reason why they were separated. Like I said- Why was they separated? Oh, you don't want to tell the friend. What? Who? What? Why was they really separated? Who? Oh, you talking about the Taylor girls or Chris and Queen? You said the reason why who wasn't really separated. Oh, the reason why the Taylor girls, you about to get me caught up. <laughs> <laughs> pull it back, pull it back. Mm -hmm. Everybody think we just did the Atlanta house. We did Houston twice. And we did one at Chris and Queen's house. Mm -hmm. When we went to the second house or whatever, um, they, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Ty uh -huh. and Trey was messing around. Yes, I remember that. Nobody in the house really, we saw the flirtation. So that was real. That was real life, but I thought it was fake too. Cause okay. I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so the reason why, but here we go. This is some good tea. Okay. This is good tea. The reason why I thought it was fake was cause she was dating flight. At the same time she was dating what? The they boy? had just started talking. Her flight was talking. Did Flight know this? No, no, no. So this is where you get real. So she was talking to Flight and him at the same time. No, no, no. Add Jazz to that too. Remember that picture that went viral when they all had on black and white? Ty came in and she was a single girl, but mm -hmm. she was flirting with Trey. She was kind of flirting with Jazz. Mm -hmm. and then, you know, you got Flight that y'all just start talking. When we were in the house in Atlanta, Flight had a situation with a girl that was using him. And so he was talking to me, and this is why I got the reputation of breaking people up. No, somebody beating your tail and stealing your money, you dang right, I'm gonna tell you, like, hey, that's not a good look. Right, right, So, right. Flight stopped talking to that girl, then he goes talking to Todd. I'm like, boy, you dropped off the fire can into the fire. Like, what? <laughs> like, leave that alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't say nothing. Long story short, Trey and Ty, all of them went out one night. Ty was twerking on Trey or something like that. Mm -hmm. A supporter caught it. Mm. And flight saw it and flight went off. Okay. Flight was like, you know, if you want to mess with you no more, da da da. At this time, Ty really liked flight. Okay. And she's like, oh my god, like, you know, ask me to fix it. What am I gonna do? That's not your business. Right, what am I gonna do? Yeah. So at this point, or whatever, she came up with this plan. So she told <laughs> flight, yeah, this is what. <laughs> Trey together that it was just for the reality house. When the Taylor girls came down, because they weren't supposed to be part of that group, mm -hmm. they came down when I wasn't there, then I had to come down because I saw what they were doing. That's when you got that I like you can't prank and I think I'm gay prank. And it was because her and Jazz. Mm -hmm. Remember? Mm -hmm. I saw that one. And so Jazz was really feeling Ty. And but she wasn't feeling her. So it was Ty, all for the point. Well I tell you, Ty and Jack Deja are business and smart. Mm -hmm. They came through that group ready. And right. they, they got their numbers up. They left. So now everybody in the group like, dang, every time y'all come down, the 
some ish, you know, uh-huh. going on. So then the next situation, this is where the dad comes to play. When the MCN that I had, when uh-huh. everybody was signed up under this MCN, I got text messages for this too. Mm-hmm. And so, um, in the messages, Deja basically saying that they wanted to partner with me. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is when I knew they were smart when we had this conversation. It was like, we want to partner with you, we want to put in, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, you know, because I was looking for another investor. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right, if you put in or whatever, this is the percentage you get, woo, woo. So they was like, we were talking over our dad. They came back. It was like, my dad said, we're going to cast on the MCN right now, but we want to go ahead and partner with you with the houses and mm-hmm. stuff. So I'm like, okay, baby. The person that I bought the MCN from, yeah. he came to the house, and I didn't think nobody was going to pull him to the side get his information down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Taylor girls did. They mm-hmm. got the, the guy's information. I had only put down a deposit. Mm-hmm. So I, I guess they were telling him that they could come up with more money, da 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 da. The thing was 150 I had 75 and Armand and Chris pulled me to the side. They was like, listen, Janae, like, we rock with you, but we do not want to be up under Damien. Mm-hmm. So if you're going to partner with Damien, we don't want no parts of it. Mm-hmm. They was like, you messing with ends now, they got money. So mm-hmm. what you need? Chris basically was like, all right, well, I can give you the money. We about to get paid or whatever. But he was about to get this IA. Right. So me and Damien was like, all right, I'm in or whatever. So we was in the process of trying to like figure out how we was going to do that with everybody else. Taylor Girls intersected the meeting. Now the guy or whatever, because they telling the, them that. The MCN guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, the MCN guy, I'm trying to make sure I'm saying his name. The mm-hmm. MCN guy, whatever, the Taylor girl somehow got a hold of them and was telling them all this bad stuff about me. Like, yeah, she don't know what she's doing and da 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 And so now, the dude kind of distant from me and I'm mm-hmm. like, what's going on? She was like, you know, well, they told me this is that. And I'm like, who's that? Mm-hmm. And he was like, you know, the girls, da da da. So me, Chris, Queen, Armand, and Trey, everybody's sitting there like, the girls, mm-hmm. and, and, and it was like the Taylor girl. <laughs> he had that meeting. I, I then at that point realized that the dad, like if you read the message that he said, like mm-hmm. yeah, I couldn't have all that power and effed it up twice. Mm-hmm. You couldn't even be in the same space. But <laughs> whatever that might be, but why is you focusing on power? And I had to think, cause I'm reading his message, like why is he tripping mm-hmm. off of? And then when I thought about, I said, oh my God, when I went through the text messages, me and him had an issue. Because mm-hmm. I called him like, hey, what you got going on? Because he was trying to take Damien and Bianca from me. Because Damien wanted to do music. Mm-hmm. So he has, And that's what he did. Yes. And then I later found out, because me and him and his wife, we talked. Like, it was a cool conversation mm-hmm. and everything. He tried to sign Chris and Queen. Oh. Chris didn't sign with them. Chris signed with me. Oh, this is basically all jealous. Oh, baby. Yes. 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 Oh. Yes. So that's the tea. That's the tea. They mad because you got who all they wanted. So I feel like they probably plotted to get their daughters in the house, come in and mess some stuff up, they can go back to her dad. <laughs> yes, and it did not work. Yes. It didn't work. It didn't work. And so that's the reason why all the hate started coming and all mm-hmm. the stuff they were saying because of the fact your plan didn't really go. Mm-hmm. But if you let drop that last thing that Janae Snake with, this is the problem, she was still talking to Trey. Mm-hmm. So out every group I had, I've always had a mole. Somebody that was still that messing was, with somebody yes. that shouldn't be messing and with. And then stuff to get out. Right, and so that's how that happened. So they kept informed of what was going on in the house, mm-hmm. courtesy of still messing with Trey. Mm-hmm. And so, but why was Trey telling everything? Trey really liked Ty. He, he really did. liked Ty. Okay. He really liked Ty. And but it was like he never said nothing. So okay. all that fell apart. The last text message I got from Ty because Flight confronted her about that, and she said Janae like that, and I didn't respond back because mm-hmm. I'm like clearly they didn't talk. So I hit flight. That that video that everybody saw mm-hmm. with flight. I caught flight. I didn't call the Taylor girls to fix nothing. They um. That's the reason why the Taylor girl situation popped off. But I think the reason, if you watch Deja's video, the last one they did, Deja looked a little mm-hmm. like like her feelings was hurt. Okay. And the reason why I would say that is because Deja think I turned on her in the car. Mm-hmm. I didn't. It was Jazz that brought up the conversation. So, is there anything that you want to say that we don't know or we haven't asked you? Do anybody remember where that scam and fraud, those titles came from? The Taylor Girls. So they the one. Who yeah, remember they was it. like, go and spam a fraud squad. Mm. So now we. So at the end of the day, all this is coming from them. Yes. They, they really just messed up everything. Your yeah. name, y'all's groups came in that stirred up. It really is all the Taylor girls. Well, the, it's not just them. It's I mean, some other people, but they had they 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 part in it. It wasn't all they fault because they were like, but it wasn't all they fault. But they did have a lot to do. A lot to do with it. Yeah. What is this thing about me stealing? Like, why do everybody believe I'm a scammer? Dude? Because that's what he said in the video. He was like that you that you locked them out their account and you wouldn't give them their money and uh, that's what that's what he was saying on the video. So could they really still get in the account? Yeah, they can get in the account. Listen to me, listen to me, friend, and everybody else. 
else, all the little friends out there. Mm-hmm. If I lock somebody off the account, they did this mess a week before pay period. If I lock somebody off the account, you ain't getting it until I get my money. So Armand and Trey had lost their AdSense account. Mm-hmm. And when they lost their AdSense account, they can't get the money out. Mm-hmm. So nobody wanted to put, I should have been like everybody else. Nobody, <laughs> nobody wanted to connect them, but I had a YouTube channel I wasn't using. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right, well, this is what we can do. We can go ahead and connect y'all to there, but they needed the money. They didn't have any money. Mm-hmm. And it, at this time, I think it was like 40,000 or something like that. So I was like, all right, well, I'll give y'all the money. And then when the money hit, I'll just get mine back. Mm-hmm. But the money didn't hit right away. And then the next one didn't hit. So then I'm like, uh, I need my $2 back, mm-hmm. you know, type stuff. Um, Armand and Trey, if anybody watched their videos, to be, and I don't watch them no more, but they used to stuff with commercials. Oh, the little, the, okay. Their the videos, ads. they used uh-huh. to stuff with ads. Anybody that does YouTube mm-hmm. knows that you cannot do that, and that when it says your number, your estimated revenue, mm-hmm. when Google totals up all your views, the ones that's valid, you'll get paid for those. Mm-hmm. So if you look in, I think their number was like 60,000 or something like mm-hmm. that, that they said that they was estimated to get. But when it, when it was all said and done, I think they got like 10 or 20,000, something like that. At the time, I wasn't as knowledgeable about YouTube as I am now, mm-hmm. so I couldn't explain it. I'm just so like, they felt like you were just taking money yeah. because you weren't explaining because yeah. you couldn't explain right. and so, why they weren't getting that right. Price. And so I'm in my feelings, and so I'm like, I ain't got a silver in because first of all, it don't make sense. Mm-hmm. Sixty thousand dollars sound a lot of money if that's all I'm gonna get, but collectively every month I would see that mm-hmm. from all of y'all. So why would I just take the chance of losing my whole clientele mm-hmm. for one check? And I gave you forty thousand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I walked them through the bank, my bank account. I walked them through my assets account and you see it you can't change youtube it says that so the mama is on one she calling me she like you know i don't believe this and you're not about to play us and talking to me sideways so me and her got into it mm-hmm. and our mom as sweet as he said it he was like dang janet i wish you better call me because he was like that's my mom mm-hmm. and i was like i'm sorry but she just came she out of pocket yeah, yeah. but he was basically saying like dang like you know i gotta choose and that's my mom uh-huh, yeah so i'm sorry short anybody took that from and another reason why I think they called they the scam thing came about is I do remember this on Missy Money because I remember to talk about it. Didn't they say you had to go through something with the law? Uh, oh, oh, oh you talking like, about my record? The first situation was two cases in one, mm-hmm. and it was uh, school records. And mm-hmm. so we lived literally across the street from the district that was like a nice you know school district. Mm-hmm. It was three days before I moved into the district, mm-hmm. and so. They came after me saying falsified documents. Then I was still arrogant, but at this time I was drive time personality in the city or whatever. So my boss was like, listen, he was like, I can't have my drive time personality on the five o'clock news. And <laughs> he was like, right, right. pick one. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'll take the job for 200. <laughs> so my license had my maiden name. My maiden name is mm-hmm. Lynch. But legally at that time I was still Brockman because I was still married. But we went together. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, you know, but that's illegal. <laughs> Yeah. No, oh, that's man. that's altering your social security. Like you cannot do that. So, okay, so that's why that came about. Yeah. So it was like they can't get me with the felony for the case, mm-hmm. and so they was like, all right, boom. It's like the gangsters. They can't get them for that. So all of a sudden you get hit with an IRS lien. Mm-hmm. Like what the heck? Oh, <laughs> so somebody told me actually, do you do you miss them? Do I miss them? DMD. I would be lying if I said at times I had, but after the stuff that didn't happen, mm-hmm. no, you don't miss them. Mm-hmm. No, I think that was a great thing that happened because of the fact that. It was when you try to destroy somebody, that's mm-hmm. one thing to be fighting. Me and my cousin used to fight. And my cousin used to fight to try to kill me. I'm like, I'm just trying to fight. Like, we not, I'm not trying to kill you. <laughs> but this nigga was trying to kill me. Right. And it's like, ain't no coming back from that. Mm-hmm. All I had to get is the neat, neat and karma. They had to throw the licks in a minute. Mm. Neat and karma, though. What did they do licks on? Baby, they fought. Oh, pregnant. Oh. Oh. Got out of here. Baby, 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 Joy, you should have sat back and said nothing. Because you talking about I tried to break you and uh Lorna, you hit her and the baby. I put them in a hotel for a whole week. Yeah. Well on that note. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the little guy, uh, Alfred, uh, what's his 
friend? I don't know. All these, these so the friend, the best friend of uh, 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 King, you know, whatever the case may be, why is it that when it was all said and done, Austin. Austin, yes, <laughs> why is it when it was all said and done, all those people that you turned against me, y'all sent all of them home. When we was meeting and we was going over the contract, mm -hmm. I told them, I said, do not listen to somebody who already has the bag or somebody who doesn't have the bag. Make mm -hmm. a decision that's based on what's good for you. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah, so they thought that they was going to collect. Y'all, silly rabbits. And sent them home. Silly rabbits. <laughs> they thought that they was going to really collect them. <laughs> and they played. Yeah, because Ken Real, y'all follow me over the country. Mm -hmm. Literally. Y'all in New Orleans, every time I went to Sneaker Ranch, y'all appeared. They they constantly and so I'm like okay well let me help y'all like can y'all please work with them this is the thing Zoe the whole thing of trying to make it look like I was just like ah I don't want nobody work with my group mm -hmm. no I nobody in those groups were humble enough to bring anybody else up mm -hmm. and so in order to work with me the main, only thing I required you had to collab yeah. you had to collab with a smaller channel and some of them did and some of them didn't mm -hmm. but that that like like Ken and Dre mm -hmm. I was hurt that they jumped. Didn't nobody like y'all. Oh. Joel and Lauren kicked them out. Tay and Jazz kicked them out. Mm. I brought them back and was like, y'all fix this. That's like, I'm like, what? Like, when you see how everybody was going, I was like, all right, it's cool. So really, I feel like you, I feel like you got everybody to where they needed to be. And I feel like oh. once they got to where they needed to be, they was like, you don't need her. Yes. And yes, that's exactly what it is. And the thing of it is, is that that's the reason why the last contract that I was going to do, I was like, I have to protect myself. I got a family, to, you know, mm -hmm. me and take care of. I have a huge family. Mm -hmm. Period. So, <laughs> so <laughs> that is Dana. That is not <laughs> Eric. I can see that now. Eric, I can see that now. She not had the same energy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's not her. Mom. Yeah, like, no. Like, yeah, no. So, okay. This was fun. Oh, this was so much fun. I didn't get out. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that you was going to respond to me, so I am so no, honored. No, you're so honored. Thank you for coming. So honored. Thank you. Look, y'all, you got what you wanted. There's anything else y'all need to talk about? Listen to us. Look, look, look. Part two, friend. But um, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. I, I see you in a different light now. I'm like, y'all, she's just so messy. You're not messy. You just, girl, you smart and just know how to do your thing, girl. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Well, all right, y'all. Everybody, look. Just make sure you tell both sides of the story every oh. time. Um, if y'all feel like y'all want to follow that letter, y'all fly here. Y'all tell your story, child. And I get the tickets. Oh, God. <laughs> I found the Then they go to the She didn't give us our tickets. I got the receipt. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot tell you. But look, y'all. Like I always say, God only made one you. If you don't be you, then nobody else will. And I will see you next Monday. So click the link in the top of my description and download the app now. Don't wait. Go on and get you your current. Will you have some tea with me? Tea, 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 tea with me.